Hi, this is Daniel from CR Kennedy, the Leica Icon distributor here in Australia. Today we're going to take a look at the Icon build field software. We're going to look at how to start a new project, how to import site plan and import survey control if required. This here is the Icon homepage that you're greeted with when you first turn on your controller. First, you go to projects. Then we have a list of all the projects that we have loaded on the controller. In this case, we have nothing. We'll select the green plus to create new. We're going to name our project. We can give it a description if we like. And we hit the blue circle at the top right hand corner. And here we have a list of different data types we can import. In this case, we want to import reference data. Our site plan is currently loaded onto a thumb drive plugged into the tablet. So we're going to select removable disk. Important to note that Icon will always look for data in a folder called data. Here we have a list of importable site plans. In this case, we're interested in this DXF. Also important to note that Icon can handle CAD formats, both DXF and DWG. We hit our little arrow off to the right hand side here, and we have all our import settings. First of all, distance unit, this drawing has been drawn in not meters, but millimeters. Height options, in this case, there are no 3D points. However, we will import 3D control points later on, so we select use all heights. Dimension and multiliter options, there's nothing here to import, I'll select ignore. Then we have our layer options as default. All layers are selected. As you can see, our grid line openings, wall, and room name are all individual layers. If there's any we don't want, you can simply deselect. In this case, I want them all. And lastly, clean up DXF file. We'll tick that one as well. And we hit the green tick to continue. Now, we could straight away go to import control, but let's take a quick look at the data we've imported. Okay, and let's go to the Checks app to see what we've got. Here you see basic site plan I've imported. We have our building and we have our grid lines. At the moment, it's quite neat and tidy. Nothing to select here at the moment. But if we select our layers button in the bottom right hand corner, here we have our drawing. And if we expand this menu, we have our layer options. First of all, all the layers are turned on. If I want to, I can turn off individual layers. But in this case, I'd like to keep them all on. Off to the left here, we have our show points. I can turn on all points, or I can leave some points on. Hit my tick, brings me back to my layout screen. If I'd like to import site control, I'll go back to home. I can now go to import and delete. Green plus brings out my import options. I select control. Again, it's stored on the thumb drive. Removable disk D. It's looking for the data in a folder called data. And here we have the control file. If I select the arrow off to the side, at the top here, you have to tell it which order the control data has been written. So if I look at my file, I've got ID, easting, northing, and height. So I select ID, easting, northing, height. And I don't have any codes, 
but I'll select that for the last. Now this gives me a preview of how the data is being read. Here are our field separators for different formats. In this case, in Excel, we select comma, distance unit. Again, this is done in millimeters. And this one is important down here, skip row count. If I left this at zero, it would start looking at the very top line, but those are just headings. So I'm gonna select one, and now it starts reading the second line. Once it's done, big green tick again, import successful, and let's go back and take a look at our data now. Now we have our site plan, our grid lines, and we have four control points that also have a height reference to them. Now we're ready to set up our total station on site and beginning laying out our points. <laughs>